Good morning, Grade Sevens. Thank you for joining us today. Today, we are going to be discussing ratio and rate. Before we begin, I'd like to ask you to please subscribe to our channel and then to share this channel with your friends. Okay, let's have a look at the, the rules for simplification of ratio and rate. Right, the first thing that we look at is that we must be working in the same unit. So if I have 30 centimeters as to 10 millimeters, if you look at centimeters to millimeters, you can see that the units are not the same. So what do I need to do? I need to convert centimeters to millimeters. Okay, we always convert to the smaller unit. And um, in this case, what do we need to do? We need to multiply 30 centimeters by 10. If we multiply by 10, we'll get 300 millimeters as to 10 millimeters. Okay, I'm not doing any of the simplification as yet. All I'm doing is working through the rules. I'll get to the simplification later on. Okay, the next thing that we need to do is we need to convert decimals to whole numbers. So if I have 125 as to 175, I need to multiply out by 100. Why are we multiplying out by 100? Because we have two places after the comma and we want to convert them to whole numbers. So that will give me 125 as to 175. The next thing we need to look at is that when we have fractions, we must multiply out by our LCM. So if I have 2 over 3 as to 3 over 4, I need to find my LCM. My LCM is 12, and what does that give me? It gives me 8 over 12 as to 9 over 12. Now, when the denominators are the same, the denominators will fall away, and we simply use the numerators, and we say it's 8 as to nine. All right, let's look at a few examples. Let's look um, at example one, which was the same as um, the simplification that we did earlier. 30 centimeters as to 10 millimeters. I mentioned to you that you need to convert, so that's 300 millimeters as to 10 millimeters. What do I do? I divide by 10. Why? Because we need to find our highest common factor. Our highest common factor is 10 we divide by 10 on both sides because what we do on the left hand side we must do on the right hand side and that gives me 30 as to 1. Let's look at example 2. Example 2 was 125 as to 175. We multiplied by 100 so that we can have whole numbers and we have 125 as to 175. What's our highest common factor here? Our highest common factor is 25. So we divide by 25 on the left hand side and the right hand side. And when we see that our numbers are in simplest form, we know that our sum is complete. Let's look at example three. We have a half as to three quarters. Now, what do we need to do here? We need to multiply out by our LCM. Why? Because we want to convert our fractions to whole numbers. So what did I do to 2 to get 4? I multiplied by 2. So I must multiply my numerator by 2 as well. That gives me 2. And then what did I do to 4 to get 4? I multiplied by 1. So I multiply, by, multiply 3 by 1 as well. This gives me 3. 2 as to 3 is in its simplest form. So that is our answer. Let's look at example 4. We have 12 as to 108, as to 144. And what do we need to do here? We need to find our highest common factor. Now, I broke this up into two to show you something. If you don't find the highest number right away, you can continue with the sum by dividing further. So I picked the number two, and I said 12 divided by two is six, 108 divided by two is 54 and 144 divided by 2 is 72 but you can see that these numbers are not in its simplest form why because there's still a common factor there's still a common multiple so 
we need to simplify as far as we can. And we're going to divide by 6 again. And we've got 1 as to 9 as to 12. This cannot be simplified anymore. And that is our solution. Let's look at our next example. Anna buys 2 chocolates for 14 rand. How much would 5 chocolates cost? So the best thing here would be to find out the cost of one chocolate. So if we paid 14 rand for two chocolates, we divide by two and we see that we paid seven rand per chocolate. And this gives us the opportunity to find out what we would pay for five chocolates. We say seven times five is 35 rand and therefore she paid 35 rand for five chocolates. Let's look at example six. Example 6 says divide 288 rand in the ratio 3 as to 4 as to 5. Now when we have these types of ratios, what we are required to do is add 3, 4 and 5 together. So 3 plus 4 plus 5 is 12. So the one ratio is 3 is to over 12, the next one is 4 over 12, and the next one is 5 over 12. And what we do is we multiply it by 288 over 1, and this gives us 72 rand. So 3 over 12 will be 72 rand, 4 over 12 will be 96 rand, and 5 over 12 is 120 rand. Thank you for joining us, Grade 7s, and we hope to see you again soon.